Greetings everyone, a junction of function here today. I'll be showcasing how I do my Trackmaster sets, or at least a little bit behind the scenes anyway. It's not really like a one-to-one -one or just, it's just a bit of a just, you know, general, oh, I do this and that and that's how I do my Trackmaster sets. Just some general advice since every once in a while I'll get a comment like, oh, how did you do that thing? Or I really liked this thing that you did on this set, so how did you do that? And well, this video will be a bit of a, well, I guess a talkity through. That's not really a word, but that's the best way I can describe it. It'll be just me talking through of like, whoa, you can do this and that for your layouts for Trackmaster. And I think the best example I'll be using is from when I filmed Edward's excursion video from which I did a little while ago for, um, well, it wasn't quite for the 40th anniversary or for my channel anniversary, just a good Edward video, which I guess if I really wanted to, I could advertise it for both anniversaries, but, uh, it's just a fun little Sudrian Days videos. But yeah, I filmed quite a bit of, like, behind the scenes footage, and I have quite a bit of outtake footage from when I filmed that video, so I'll just be using footage from that since it's some of my best set work to date in my opinion, and I think it has some nice details overall which I think will provide to be useful for this little video of mine. So as Edward exits the tunnel and the screen fades to black, it's um, time to dive in. So the first thing you're going to notice is that some of the images are by 4 by 3 aspect ratio and some of the others are by 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I think I got that in the correct order. So basically, a 4 by 3 is what Classic Era used and then 16 by 9 is widescreen. And something you should take note here is that blue sky background, that is the edge of the set. Like, I know I've got the little station building there and all, but that is the edge of the set. Something I do, I built this set specifically so they look good on camera, but if you move the camera at all, it would not look good. And there was me building the Tidmouth set for when Edward exits. Since, fun fact, the set that you just saw Edward reversing into the coaches, that was a separate set. And this is a separate set for when Edward leaves the station, so. And honestly, you cannot tell that on the video, which I think, good job on my part, but that's also something you want to do with set buildings. Like, even if you don't have enough stuff to do one big giant set, then try and divide the two scenes into two different sets. So for example, I've got the canopy, so that way when you see it leave the station, oh, it's, it's, so you think, oh, it's the same set, right? Well, no, it's two different sets, but it gives the illusion that this is one big giant set, but alas, no, it isn't. And here you can see Spencer and Edward, and you saw previously how the set was kind of built up and me trying all the different camera angles, but yeah. You want the set to also be very, if you can at least, have depth and like dynamic range. And if you look very closely, you can see the edge of the set by using this fog machine with all the steam and smoke. I mean, look at this little smog effect, I guess. No, wait, this, this is a good scene right here, even though my hand's blocking it. That because of the fog machine, I'm able to do this like London smog effect almost, which pays off because A, it hides the back of the set, B, the bridge helps in hiding the back of the set, but also C, it helps the foreground transition to the background, and you can't really tell that it's a set. It just kind of looks like you're on a filming piece. I don't know how to describe it. Like, yeah, it's a set, but it's not very obvious. Like, oh, you can see the edge of the set. And also another way of that was really useful for this was being able to use the bridge. I was able to use two sides of the set for like, but if you didn't see the first part, you might assume that, oh, this is a completely different set. Also, here's some footage of James for um, a video that's hopefully coming in July. So uh, look out for that. Um, any people who's watching Edward Harbor will know it. And see, there's a great example of how the set ends as soon as you move the camera. And even then, you can still technically see, if you look behind Gordon and Express Coaches just then, you'll see the edge of the set, you'll see the sky backdrop, so... Again, it's really all about just making it look pretty for the camera, and that's really all that matters. It does not have to look good anywhere else, since ultimately, you're just filming this for the sake of the camera's perspective, a good set does not matter if, when you film on it, you cannot tell if it's a well-made set. It should look good from the point of the camera. So that's something to keep in mind. And also, while set building, this came from the Tidmouth set, this little Napford Junction Harbor area. Well, it's based on that, but you can see how it's the bridge from that set 
but I removed all the background building. Well, I kept some of the background buildings, but I changed the foreground up, I changed the trees, and again, this is the same set, but something from a different shot, because it's got the Mayfleet Station House and the signal, but I took that out or removed it to make it look, oh, this is from completely something different. Anyway, here's a tunnel set that I did, a little construction pick, and again, Edward, it, this is set only looks good from this particular angle because as you can see when the camera position changed You can see how the house that's the last thing on that set on the left side of the screen If I move the camera any more further away in that direction Well, then the set would be different. It would well, not different, but it just wouldn't be there There would just be the sky background and you could tell oh, this is a set. This isn't the countryside and also Trevor's there in the foreground, again, to give the depth of illusion and all that. And then I redressed that same set that we just saw a couple moments ago. It's now got buildings and signals, and I changed the foliage up. Again, a simple redress, but now it's an entirely different new location. And you can't really tell because I changed it up enough. For example, I've got all the buildings, so one side's heavy industry, and then the other side's countryside and foliage. And also, I didn't use Trevor or any other characters that we saw in the last scene. But once again, give the illusion of, this is a completely different area, this is new. And also you might notice the fog machine, that is new. I got that in the 20, oh not the, 2013 Christmas. Well, I got it for 2013 Christmas, but you didn't see it until 2024 Christmas video talking about the stuff I got for 2023 during Christmas. Anyway, I will eventually, I don't know when, do a tutorial video on the fog machine. I want to ideally do that sooner rather than later, but there's a lot being balanced at the moment. But yeah, another thing you can tell here is I've got the different, I've got the taller buildings in the background. Again, give the illusion of depth. The trees, that's a good point. I've also got little things on top of the tunnel to make it look like, oh, people and things have been there. And if you look carefully just behind the tree too, you'll see there's a little speck of blanket right there. And again, that's meant to represent land or like a valley, but again, just that little speck of something gives the illusion of, oh, this set doesn't end right below after the trees, it continues going on despite the fact it doesn't. And that's why I also have the trees in the top right corner. But of course now everything's covered in fog <laughs> and smoke. This is just me having fun with the fog machine, or rather smoke machine, one of the two terms. Again, this was an alternate tank excuse me, alternative angle I took to decide, okay, what would be the best course of action, and honestly, the smoke here would be perfect for like a Halloween episode or something, because of the way it lows down along the tracks, like a bit like mist. And then here's that same set again, redressed. I removed the tunnel, a lot of the buildings, but, but there's that same building in the background, except it's just by itself, and it's just a bunch of trees too. Now this set, I took inspiration from that one series one set, right after Goran Tilt the Signal and the house and whatnot, but inspired, not supposed to be a remake or a direct copy. I guess if you really want to, you could call it Railway Seriesified, but I have the camera focused on the foreground, so that way it looks like the set's a lot larger than it is. Here's a really good example of Edward the foreground, and oh, and that was the end of that scene. I thought it was going on for a bit longer, but again, this is that same set again, redressed again, but it's got the building's positioned, and fun fact, that siding right there, that isn't actually a part of the set. Like, yes it is, but it's not connected in any way. So again, if you move the camera at all, you would see, oh, it's not connected, but from this specific camera angle, it looks fine. It looks like it's an actual siding part of the main line. And that's also how I'll be able to get it along that perspective. Since with normal Trackmaster Track, it would be aligned, but it isn't. It's at an angle. So again, woo, fun camera tricks. And got a little crate in the background too, just a little speck of color. And then this is also that same set redressed again for the upteenth time. I haven't moved the track at all, so that way it's technically a redress. I've just shifted everything around a bunch. Like, you've seen that water tower and that signal box, but again, the TV series itself for Thomas used the same props over and over again. And that's what I've done here, pretty much. It's effective and it's easy. I've also added a little dripping water on the water tower since it's a water tower. It's bound to get wet. And also, it's the UK. It rains a lot, so I just imagine water to be dripping. Also, with this scene, you can see, best of all, how when I remove the camera, you can see all that magic goes away. It's just a simple little set.
But yeah, I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you found some of what I said in this video to be interesting. I'll hopefully do it more in depth on a certain layout another time, but for now, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.